What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. So today I got me not one but two Royal Kaluge RK84 keyboard. These two right here were sent to me by them and they asked me to actually take a look at them. Um, they did not pay me to do this video nor did they uh, have previewed this video before you guys have watched it. So everything on here is my opinion, FYI. So today we are going to unbox this, take a look at it, and see how cool they are. Um, I saw the picture online, so I already know what they look like. Anyway, let's do it. So first off, the reason why there's two of them is because, well, there's two different types of keycaps on top of them. But in terms of the uh, switches inside of them, it's, they're both, they both have the yellow switch. Let's see here. Door number one, we got ourselves a uh, kind of a mocha-ish, coffee mocha-ish keyboards. Beautiful. Instruction manual. All right. And I have no idea what this is yet, but I will take a look at that in a little bit. Some uh, USB-C wires, uh, keycap pullers. First off, let's take a look at this here. If you like coffee, I would say this is a pretty good theme for your desk. We got ourselves white with, uh, I believe, maroon espresso-ish lettering on top of it. And then you got yourself black with white key, uh, with white letterings on top of them. And then you got yourself uh, espresso maroon type with... The contrasting color of white on top of them. Notice they do one to four white and then different color here and then different color there. On the eyes, it actually like divide things out very nicely. I actually do like the way they divide everything here because, so for instance, right, you're looking at this, you see the home and the end key are all matched together and then you have page up and page down with the different color. Very good uh, eye for design right there. Yeah. So uh, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but Bluetooth and wireless uh, 2.4 gigahertz. Obviously, that's kind of the standard these days when you get one of these keyboards. The uh, dongle for the 2.4 wireless is back here. It it is a little magnet where you can just lift up. That's beautiful. The one thing I did notice though is that this key this keyboard is kind of tilt it up but it doesn't have feet at all for you to tilt it up even more and uh, strangely there are two different type of switches back here one is to turn it on and then the other one it says B and G I have not read the material so I don't know what that means so let's take a look here oh okay it's on with the RGB going right there so this is like I believe they're all plastic, both back and front. So um, one special thing that I do notice about this is that it does have two USB ports here, which is interesting right there. I actually do like that a lot. I wish more keyboards do this because obviously whenever you use a keyboard, you always have a mouse, right? That would be a good feature right there is to, for me to plug my wireless mouse into it. Yeah. That's a good idea. That is a very, a very, very good idea. I've never had a keyboard that have that before. Okay, so now that you've seen that, let's go with the other color. All right. So this one right here is more of a gray and white mix to it. So. The espresso coffee, what I call coffee-ish, is very contrasty, while this is more of like a dim down, toned down type of deal. I would say that this right here would fit more with a white theme. So if you have like a white theme for your gaming setup, this will probably be a better color than this one. This one is more of a black theme. All right, so in the box, they do have some extra yellow switches for you, just in case if you want to change those out. I believe on this one right here, it's in the box as well. I just threw it down there. Um, same thing, uh, keycap puller and that kind of stuff. 
And look at this right here. It comes with the white cord. Like I said earlier, this right here is more of a white theme for the white setup. Take a look at this real quick because I just noticed something. So this right here, this USB-C actually is dual USB-C. See that? But if you need to, you can plug it into USB-A. Very nice to include that. Props on that one. That is a, that is a huge plus right there. Okay, so then I was telling you that I, I don't know what this thing is right here, but I think I finally figured it out after I talked through. So I told you how the bottom here doesn't have any like riser, right? I believe these are the risers, guys. Yeah. This is a magnet down here. So you just pop this thing on. Look at this. So now it does rise. Ha! Ah! Genius. Okay, well, um, that's kind of interesting right there. It's just a magnet. Just a magnet. There's no magnet on this end though, only on this top ends, okay? I wonder why they went with that design rather than just doing the usual kickstand that everyone does. I don't know, but it's pretty genius uh, of them to use a magnet for it though. Okay. Not sure if that's a good or bad thing, by the way. I mean, it, one, it keeps the keyboard solid, right? Does it move though? Only a little bit. The white theme keyboard actually does come with a white theme dongle. That's very nice of them to think about your gaming setup in that way. Same thing here, two switches back here. So let's go ahead and flip that thing on. Let's see if it has any battery. Okay, it does. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna flip my lights off just to see what it looks like here. Okay. So that's what it looks like right here. The first thing that I'm gonna point out is that the white text on the black, the contrast, I can see it a lot better in this type of environment, which I call the gaming environment, because usually the room is gonna be kind of dimmed down, right? Well, you're not gonna have this purple light, which I should turn it off too. Um, the contrast is a lot more. So if you are one of those that have issues with seeing keys and you're still looking down and see what letter you're typing and stuff like that, this is probably going to be a better choice for you because the contrast is there. This one right here, because they're not using as much contrast um, on the lettering and the keycaps, I feel like I don't see it as well. So for instance, right here, th this function button right here, it just kind of all blends in. And because the RGB doesn't shine through the keycaps, I can't really make out what some of these keys are. And so in a dim environment like this, I think, I think you're better off going with a, uh, the black-ish keyboard. Hmm. So that's kind of one thing that you should think about right there. But you know what, for me though, I have a white gaming setup or quote unquote white gaming setups. So you see this box right here. May maybe it's better for me to go with this one. Huh. So right now, I don't know. But anyway, that's what it looks like right there. Let's, let's take a look at some of the RGB. I'm not sure why the P is a uh, highlight like that. I believe what that means is that my, it's, a, it's detecting that my wireless is not connected to anything. And that's the reason why. Some of the other keyboard does that, so. But right now I'm, I'm flipping through some of the color options that I have here. So this one ch looks like it's changing the color for me. And it's just a wave going across. Here's purple, which match kind of my uh, setup right now. Here's all white, and here's our RGB going through. And this one right here looks like it's changing the mode. There we go. So yeah, one button has changed the mode while the other button changed the color. Oh, that's, that's nice. This is in the middle going out. Interesting. That's an interesting one there. 
that's a real one. That's a good one there too. Okay, so there's the espresso one right there. Yeah, that looks good. It's all red, yellow, blue. Same same thing here. Same thing here. Okay, so there you have it right there. That's what the RGB looks like. I actually want to dig into this and see what these yellow switch down here uh, feels like. So first off, let's, let's remove the keycaps real quick. There's the yellow switch right there. And if, in case you're wondering what the yellow switch like sound like, here you go. Um, there is very little tactile to the yellow switch. It feels like a like a red switch. If you've ever used a mechanical keyboard with a red switch, it's pretty much like that, in my opinion. Okay, so the last thing that I want to point out is that um, since I've been doing a lot of these wireless keyboards, the one thing that I notice, and I've, I'm seeing it more and more in Bluetooth wireless keyboards that are coming out. And I, I, I totally love this, and I want to point out that this keyboard right here, these keyboard right here, have it too. Okay, so if you look on the W, uh, Q, and E right there, you see, you see how it says 1, 2, and 3 right, right there? So guys, those are like the different Bluetooth channels, okay? So let's say if you have three Bluetooth devices, for instance, an Android, or, or let's say an iPad, an iPhone, and then a Mac, right? You, and you want Bluetooth connect to all three of them, you can. All three of them is right here. You can actually connect each one of those to a Bluetooth device. And so you can just switch seamlessly to those devices. Pretty cool right there. Um, I believe I was reading the instruction manual and you, uh, you short press or you long press to activate um, or connect the channel into each one of those. Okay, anyway, read the instruction manual when you get these. But yeah, you can connect three different devices to three different Bluetooth devices. And then on top of that, you have yourself 2.4 gigahertz, which what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it into my computer, the wireless dongle into my computer. And so then I just switch over to the wireless dongle when I need to use this keyboard for my PC, for some gaming. So that's what I'm gonna do. So uh, if you keep in count, there's like four different devices for one keyboard already right here, okay? Lastly, the wired piece of it right here. You plug a wire in to let's say your gaming PC, that can just be your wired, you know, that's, been, that's gonna charge, that's gonna let you play game, okay? And then with it plugged in, you can actually switch to the Bluetooth with it plugged in, still charging. You can do that. And so, yeah, that's pretty cool right there. And then on top of that, last thing, last, last thing, you see right here where A and S is, there is, uh, let me see if I can get it right there, where it says Window and Mac. You see that? Right, right there. It says Window and Mac. Guys, it's important for someone who owns a Mac right here and a PC right here, super important because the keys on the Mac and PC are different. The alt keys on the Mac is really not alt, it's called command. And so I am able to switch to a Mac type keyboard just by single click right there to say, hey, I want to switch over to the Mac because I'm using the Mac. And what happens is that you can now use the Alt as command. So let's say it's for Spotlight. You can hold down Alt and hit Spacebar to, to, to get the command uh, to get the Spotlight up for those Mac users that knows what I'm talking about. And if you're using jumping over to the PC, you can switch over to PC now because it's, now it has a window button. Really good, really cool. Um, and then I guess on top of that, all of that, you can lock the window keys right here, which is important when I'm when I'm struggling and trying to when trying to shoot people down in uh, Overwatch 2. Guys, you gotta lock those windows keys up, okay? I'm really happy that they included all those things because to me, this is 2022, and we're fixing to go to 2023. Those things right there, switching from three different Bluetooth devices with 2.4 gigahertz with wired, that should be standard on all gaming keyboards just saying 
So next time you get a Logitech, think about those things. Do they have it on there? And then take a look at this Roy Kaluge keyboard because I, I'm telling you, you're getting more bang for your buck. These are like more cup holders in a car right here. Yeah, well, it's more than cup holders, but you get my point. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. Those are the two keyboards right there. I hope you guys uh, like this little video. Once again, I want to thank Roy Kaluge for sending me these two keyboards. Um, I am going to actually use one of these today to play some gaming. So, have a good one. Bye-bye.